Well, guten Morgen, and good morning from Frankfurt Airport. I just hopped off that retro jet over there from Krakow, and now I am about to head to Los Angeles, California, back to the States after a great quick weekend here in Europe. Definitely need to come back for longer, but uh, yep, time to go on Queen of the Skies, of Lufthansa's 747-8. Let's head to the gate. Because Poland and Germany are part of the EU, I have not had to go through any passport checks yet, but inevitably that would have to happen going to the USA, and that time is right now. Well, what a surprise, more duty-free shops. It didn't take that long uh, for that passport control, maybe 15, 20 minutes. I actually use my American passport this time just to make things a little easier going back to the States. It's always better to use like the US passport to go to you at the US and uh, the Euro passport to come to Europe, obviously. Makes things simple. Uh, this looks familiar. There it is, guys, Gucci. That's how you know you're in an international terminal. Okay, so boarding is gonna be at 9.45 for my 10.25 flight. Have about 30 minutes till boarding. So, time for me to see if I can find some breakfast. Back there's the United line for a flight to probably Chicago or Houston. Document check, must check your COVID documents. Yes. And breakfast is here. Even though international travel in 2021 was still not nearly back to pre-pandemic levels, the masks and vaccine requirements didn't stop people from traveling again overseas, and both my times passing through Frankfurt, the airport was really crowded. All right, the queen of the skies right behind me. So currently Lufthansa does not fly the A380, at least I don't think they do, which was their largest plane. That makes the 747-8 their largest flight. It's pretty cool. Now let's see about this food. It's like the only breakfast item they had. Alright, let's head on the Queen. Round two to LA. <laughs> For this long flight back to California, I decided to try out Lufthansa's premium economy long haul offering to see how it compares to regular economy. The immediate difference being the seat layout across the cabin, premium economy is 242, economy is 343. So definitely there is added space and I chose 24K, a window, so I'll only have one person to my left. Besides the layout difference, this premium economy seat is also noticeably different from economy as well. Seatback screens are slightly larger and adjustable with a USB port and headphone jack underneath. The padding on these seats is much thicker with headrests that are super adjustable for your head and neck, along with much wider armrests. Legroom is also greatly extended, and for a tall person like myself, much needed on long flights. Below the PTV is a netted seat back pocket with the safety card inside, and below that, a footrest, which can be folded out like so. Also around the seat is a coat hook, a drink holder in the middle, currently filled with water bottles Lufthansa has provided as a pre-departure beverage, two universal power outlets between the seats, a remote controller for the PTV which can be taken out like this, and another smaller storage pocket on the side with an amenity kit inside it. I will show what's inside this later on, along with the tray table which is inside the middle armrest. Complimentary on this 12-hour flight, is a small pillow and a blanket for premium economy passengers. Nothing different from economy though. And just before pushback, flight attendants came by with free earplugs and a sanitizing kit for everyone. 
that about wraps up the sea tour. Let's start our trek to the USA. German disco music fades into oblivion. I take out this tray table as I sense a flight attendant about to pass by, which like I said comes out from the middle armrest and while not foldable in half, is quite large and extendable. Turns out my suspicion was correct as FAs handed out more water bottles to all passengers. Sinking down into my seat, I thought I'd might as well show what's in the amenity kit while FAs get ready for the first meal service. It's certainly not anything you'd get in the two classes up ahead, but at least we got something. That which includes another sanitizing wipe, a pair of Lufthansa socks, an eye mask, some foam earplugs, and even a travel-sized toothbrush with a squirt of toothpaste. I'd say for premium economy, this is more than adequate, and I can say I still use that eye mask till this day. And thus we have come to the lunch service on this flight, which acts as dinner and the largest meal, even though I just ate breakfast before boarding. Again, like on my last flight, Lufthansa only offered one meal choice today. I thought maybe premium economy would get some choices versus economy, but I was certainly mistaken. A second cart came by shortly after we got our food to take our drink orders. I opted for a glass of coke and some hot tea with cream and sugar. As for food, we got a chocolate brownie for dessert, a small salad with lettuce and tomatoes, some Italian dressing for that salad, a pretzel bun with butter, a small slab of brie cheese, and for the entree, vegetarian lasagna. Let's try it. Not the best food I've had. The rest of the meal was not too bad, in fact some things were quite tasty like the brownie, but this was by far one of the worst airplane main courses I've had on an overseas flight, which coming from Lufthansa was quite disappointing, especially as time would go on as I couldn't finish it. After flight attendants cleaned up, they came by one more time before dimming the cabin lights asking if anyone wanted any more drinks. And they all are of similar size to this one, except for one larger lab in the back. Nothing really stands out in here, and really on the rest of this plane as well, except for the obvious second deck, which I was fortunate enough to visit a little later on. For now though, with the service wrapped up, the cabin lights were turned off for people to get some rest. While I felt quite tired from the fiasco that morning and the lack of sleep overnight, I saw on the overheads us nearing the country of Greenland, and seeing how the clouds weren't covering every square inch of the surface, I decided to watch Pulp Fiction to keep me up while I get plenty of b-roll flying over the vast snow and ice.
While this wasn't the first time I've flown over Greenland, it was the first time the weather cooperated so we could actually see the icy country below. Similarly, I've flown the 747 a few times now, but believe it or not, I have never been on the upper deck of one until right now. Lufthansa only has business class seats up here, so if you don't have money or loyalty, chances are you'll be down below like me. While my premium economy section consists of 32 seats, business class is actually comprised of a whopping 80 lie flat seats between the upper deck and this lower deck section. Eight luxurious first class suites are up in the nose of the plane, while 244 economy seats fill out the rest of the 747. 364 seats in total on board. Back at my seat, flight attendants briefly turned the mood lighting back on for a little as they came by with Kit Kat bars and more drinks. At this point, we were about eight hours into our journey and still had over four hours remaining. Since we were going back in time nine hours, I debated whether or not to finally sleep or drink some coffee crossing over Canada. And as you can see, for the time being, coffee was my answer. So until it wears off in about an hour, here's a look, finally, at what Lufthansa's in-flight entertainment offers. First off, what I've been looking at this entire trek is of course, the flight map, which shows how much time is remaining and where we are in the world. This here is the home screen where everything else is located. But before I continue, as you can see, responsiveness on this PTV is very poor and slow. For once, the remote is actually quicker and easier to navigate the entertainment than your finger. This 747 is equipped with cameras outside which can be viewed from these monitors. As for movies, decent collection, but I've seen much more from airlines operating routes that are far less in distance than this one, so I'd like to see more content from Lufthansa. Same goes for music, TV shows, kids stuff, and everything else on here. If you do want to see weather at your destination, look no further than your smartphone, which can connect to Lufthansa's Flynet to see what you wish. No Wi-Fi is not free, but it is available for purchase. Alas, the caffeine rush wore off, and I fell asleep hard. So hard, I must have slept through the second meal service, as I woke up literally just outside LA on our final descent. I've been traveling through time zones my entire life, and never really had a major problem with them. But after this flight, and my subsequent one, my body clock was so whacked out for the next week, it was kind of nuts. An over 12 hour flight in the middle of the day without any darkness through nine time zones isn't particularly fun, but nonetheless, I'm glad I spent it in premium economy versus regular economy in the back. Let's get on the ground already. One, two, three, oh, nice to meet you here online. Okay guys, 
What a long flight. Definitely my longest flight I've ever done. 12 hours. Premium economy was very nice though. I did have to get up quite a bit because even in premium economy with like 50% extra space, you still get tired. Unfortunately, I do need to pick up my check bag here in LA and check it again to San Francisco for my next flight after border control. Very simple, maybe it took 10 minutes. Now I just gotta get my bag and head on over to the United Terminal. Bag is here, safe and sound. At least I think so. Thankfully, didn't have to do any more COVID checks. Thank goodness. Well, now I'm outside the Tom Bradley International Terminal, and this will conclude the video. Thank you guys for watching this video. Catch you on the next one from here in LAX.